Everyone just thought I would film a quick uh, behind the scenes video for the other channel. And this is just on my phone, so I'm not even going to apologize for the video or the audio quality. You get what you get when you come here. Uh, this is not going to be a paid channel one. We'll just post it public. So right now, this content will be live by the time the video I'm filming here goes up because I don't really want to give away what I'm, what I'm doing before we're done with it. But we are currently attempting to validate or invalidate the claims from earlier this year that the... Uh, that rotating these coolers would have an impact on the CPU thermals. Now, rotating it will have an impact in a case because of other conditions, like being a case and having panels near it. But the claim was because of heat pipes. People said that the heat pipes like running across one direction versus the other, uh, one axis, you know, X versus Y on the dies on Ryzen 3000 would actually matter. So we're testing that. Noctua says it doesn't. And, uh, there's really no reason we think they would be wrong, but so far it's looking like uh, Noct was correct that it doesn't matter, and that those earlier suggestions were were not necessary. We we have not been able to verify them. I guess is the way I'll phrase it. Uh, so we've tested this so far on the 3800X, and now we are testing it on the 3950X, which is still new. All I'm doing here, this is nothing. This is not part of the test. I'm just trying to validate the lowest voltage I can do for just a, a simple 4.3 all core. This chip can do 4.4. Uh, with air cooling, but our goal is to generate heat, but we also want to generate a, an amount of heat that is like uh, coolable for a lower end cooler like the U14S or something. So my goal is not, people get caught up on this a lot. It's not about max frequency for this kind of test. It's about generate reliable thermals. And so that's what I'm, I'm tuning that right now. Other stuff going on in this room. Let's see. That's in use. Uh, there it is. We are allowed to show the motherboard and the CPUs as well. So that's all there. I can't really talk about it right now, but it, it exists and it's on a test bench. And then this is an X299X motherboard. The motherboard is, I think, out, or if it's not, it's at least public. It's definitely not under any embargo of any kind. You could probably take a guess at why we have it out right now and uh i guess i'll leave that one there as well so these two benches are are currently in operation for cpu stuff this is out because we're building something i can't talk about what it is yet this is a gn project no one else is involved it requires 10 gauge wire i am going to leave that there so here's we got some new mugs in this is the first of the uh the run I ordered, first one I looked at, and blue interior, it's a bistro style mug. It's got the wireframe logo on it, so we're bringing that back for some of these things. There you go. There's some real GN whiteboarding. This is top secret stuff right here. I shouldn't be showing you it. We have been learning passive voice in Chinese. It's, it's not particularly difficult, but it's also not that easy to remember. Like, you have... Recipient, and then bay, uh, agent of the action, verb. So, oh yeah, we also learned the word for steal. I asked that one. <laughs> and, uh, and then we learned, uh, let's see. Oh, this is kind of, for people who uh, like don't know anything about Chinese, I guess it might interest you to know that you could have, like, for example, different tones will affect the meaning of the word. So, chuan versus Chuan will have two different meanings. You could be talking about a bed or a boat, or sorry, you could be talking about a bed or a window. And then there's also Chuan, which is boat. Uh, and yeah, that's that's been what Andrew and I have been working on a couple hours a week as well. Other stuff, there's the server. It's running, it's in use now. I'm really excited about that. It's uh, been a lot of fun to work with actually. We got some memory in. So I'm going to be replacing the HyperX kit that's in there with some ECC non-registered memory. This is 32 gigabytes. We've been at 90% memory utilization, so that'll help that problem. Might go to 64 later. Unraid sent in some stickers, and these are actually uh, actually pretty high-quality stickers. Kind of su surprised. I mean, not that. It just seems like a not something you would expect a company to really spend money on. I organized a little bit. 
we have added two drawers. So there's RGB bullshit, then there's more RGB bullshit. We had a lot of it, and it was kind of stacking up where I, I, I needed to commandeer the shelf space for something that actually mattered. So we just shunted all of this over here. Here's a Model O mouse. I bought this specifically for, uh, so a viewer reached out and had issues with their support services, complained about the mouse having a freight, like a destroyed cable, disconnecting, stuff like that. So we bought one to validate it. We were able to validate the claims. And now they're kind of, this company, whatever they're called, I actually don't know what the name of it is, but <laughs> whatever. It's a stupid meme. I don't know which, I think that's maybe the name, whatever. Anyway, they are addressing the issue before we could get the video together. So I don't know. It's like, barely worth talking about now, but maybe we'll throw it into a news video. Otherwise, maybe I'll do a brief short thing on it about how you can fix the problem. Uh, this is old news. Patrick put my StarCraft thing from AliExpress up. It's definitely not licensed by the seller, but that's why I bought it from China. This I'm, I'm going to film from far away. There's a lot of stuff under embargo and also shipping labels, but that's what has happened to our office in just one week. This doesn't normally happen. It's we've we have no shortage of review products right now. Um, it's actually an incredible amount of stress that that this pile has generated because I need to look at all of these things like in the next week or two, and it's it might actually be impossible. But that's kind of what accumulates. And then what will happen is we go through inventory it at all, uh, leave it in the box until it's ready to be reviewed, and we'll probably clean out the boxes early next week. I'm actually going to take some of these home and make a box for it for Snowflake for a separate video. So check back for that, I guess. That'll be on this channel as well. And then I'll break them down after that. Also, is it NVIDIA or AMD that we are shilling for in this video? Well, there's two of AMD, but the NVIDIA one's taller. These are actually from viewers. So the AMD ME or AMD ME stuff uh, was sent in by a viewer ages ago, and we, we do have those on the wall. Uh, there's the... There's the system we built on a live stream with also viewer-donated parts. Check that out. See that discoloration in the tube? That's pretty nice, isn't it? That was in the block. Okay, we're done. I'm going to get back to work on this. I have stupid amounts of work to do. Uh, the team, only Patrick works on Saturday and then nobody works on Sunday except me. So that'll give me some time to get through the rest of this. Hopefully I can pull together two content pieces. Basically I have to keep producing content over the weekend. Uh, so I have to give the other guys days off so that my, my version of a day off is I get to work in the office alone and it's pretty great, but also I, I do sort of want an actual break, but not right now, but I have to do this. So I need to script two videos Sunday. Uh, and then, uh, uh, yeah, then, <laughs> then there's a lot of reviews coming up, but anyway, all right, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.